And then I want to uh, thank all the special friends uh, who came from out of town already uh, uh, to uh, international guests from Mexico and uh, Korea. I didn't already mention, but uh, let me uh, repeat uh, by their names uh, because uh, it is not easy to make uh, such a long distance trip uh, from uh, Mexico and Korea. Uh, so uh, how much your sister city delegation City Council woman, Ms. Lizette Lopez Godinez. Would you please stand? Michelle is an attorney and works at the law firm uh, here in Irvine. Uh, 
that were identified as full board members, the entire um, board members who were present here, but uh, they are also having board member and also inauguration uh, tonight, so they have to leave early. Now back to my journey. Eight years ago, in 2004, I was elected to the Irvine City Council. Then last uh, November 6th, election. Here I am as your new mayor. <laughs> as you can see, the last 14 years of my life have been devoted to public service in Irvine. And the entire adult life has been devoted to educating the young mem members of our society. God has been gracious to me. Today, our city is the safest in the United States. Our streets are clean, our parks are full, our business is successful, our schools and university, schools and university are among the best, and our open space and the bike trail system is rated as one of the best. These are this may sound as if our job is already already done, that our work is already over. Actually, what these accolades mean is that our job can never be done. Our work can never be over. Because success is earned, not inherited. For myself, I believe that the great house must be built using our funds carefully and time efficient. And that Irvine, an education town, deserves a great metropolitan library. We as the city council have been entrusted by our citizens to listen to their needs and make the right decisions to make the Irvine stronger than ever. In the days and months and years ahead, let us work together for the common goal. As we start, I hope that uh, this new city council will be known for listening to, to each other's uh, viewpoints with uh, courtesy and respect. The Lord Irvine is known for. 
No other city in America has such a beautifully integrated community where we embrace common values and aspirations. Irvine understands that by investing in the quality of life priorities that enhance the lives of all Irvine residents, we ensure the long-term success of our city. You have my pledge that over the next four years, I will continue to dedicate myself to the needs of our community, and I want to again thank each and every one of you and thank the community at large for the continued support that you've shown me. Thank you very much.
issues of addiction move into the workforce to invigorate and strengthen our disability community for years to come. Many of us come through some very difficult times these past years, losing homes, losing jobs, and their income being reduced, and struggling to maintain a new livelihood and your dignity. And as we move forward into 2013, I want to commit to our community that I will do everything I can to ensure we spend less, we plan for a successful future, and oversee your local government with transparency and openness with all of our new municipal dealings. Let's work together to bring new hope, new ideas, and prosperity to all of our citizens who work, live, and play in this beautiful state. And I want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas, those that celebrate Christmas, and Happy Holidays. And again, it is just my privilege and honor to be elected by you to serve another term. Thank you so much.
And now, assuming there are no additional nominations, uh, I will entertain a motion to close nominations. So moved. Okay, it was a move by uh, Council Member uh, Shea. And any second? Second. Okay, seconded by two Council Members, so that's fine. So close nominations.